Like, where did they do the interview you at Wegmans? When I, when I, yeah, they interviewed me at Wegmans. So, like, they had, like, a whole thing where they asked you questions about, you know, what would you do in this scenario? What would you do in that scenario? They asked you questions about Wegmans, like, how many times, like, have you been here? Do you know about, like, do you know about chef cutlery and, like, weird stuff like that? I don't know. It was weird. So, just, I mean, they I, just it doesn't sound like they even need the questions, I think. I, I don't know why they actually asked me them. Like, I really don't. But, yeah, they, they had a proper interview for there. And then, same with Best Buy. There was a proper interview. There was actually two, there were, uh, two, two and a half, I'd say, because it was a phone interview. Really? So, you say proper interview. So, at a place like Wegmans or Best Buy, where they are hiring a lot of teens, what's kind of, what was the hardest question you think they asked? Anything that made you think? Honestly, what? So, for me, it's not that hard because, like, I know, I know myself. Yeah. But, like, I feel like people don't really know how to talk about themselves properly. Like, yeah. they feel uncomfortable. So, like, I feel like, tell me about yourself. Yikes. Like, that could, I, I literally feel like that could be a hard question for some people. Oh, just, uh, just hearing you say that, it's kind of just like, well, where do I begin? Exactly, yeah. Because, like, for me, there's so many things I could go into. Like, do I want to talk about where I'm from? Do I want to talk about my family? Do I want to talk about what I'm doing in school? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's probably, if, if you're, if you're asked a question like that, because that's, right. I, I've heard that question so many times. Yeah. I think you should just start by, well, what occupies most of your time for us True. as being a student? Well, this is the thing I, this is what I usually say, right? Don't tell them anything that's going to be in your resume because they already have your resume. So telling them that you're, let's say that you're going to Bucks Community College with your intended mm -hmm. major of accounting, they already know that. They don't, they don't care to, to know more about that. What I usually talk about is I usually talk about that I've moved around my entire life. Which allows me to be, you know, allows me to adapt easily to different environments. So that's like, a good one. So that's that's, that's one. usually I, gets. I don't that. have that. I don't have that. So you could say like, um, I don't, I don't know. Talk about like how you've always worked. You've like worked for like major, like since you could. Oh, that's a good. That's so like you true. could say like that shows like you know I had the discipline, but not only that, but I, you know, I've had the experience of having to balance work and yeah, you know, your own. Uh, school, for example. Okay, so there's answering that common question. Right. You were talking about nervousness earlier. Well, I feel like, yeah, nervousness is different from, like, answering the questions, because I feel like you just anticipate, like, I don't know, I always anticipate the worst. Like, I'm, like, worried, okay, what question are they going to ask me that I have no clue? I just feel like the, the fear of having the interview yeah. is just over exaggerated. So oh, yeah. you're actually there, the hardest question you're going to get is, what would you do if you saw an employee stealing? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what's also weird too? Like, have you ever been in a, like a situation, like in, for example, a school presentation, right? Yeah. I'm not sure if you felt like that, but you, do you like ever feel like the shakiness of your voice when you're uh, talking yeah. and you kind of like your yeah. heart rate's yeah. bumping and then you start like talking weirdly? Yeah. And it's, I hate that because even as it's happening, you're thinking in your head, why am I, this, this why am I talking matter. like this? Like, this assignment doesn't really matter. Right. Why am I, ups you know, why am I scared? You know how I used to get around that? How? I used to talk louder. <laughs> you get louder? Yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, hey guys, my name is Raj, and today you're going to be talking about this, this, this. Like, I would just be louder and louder until I didn't hear the shakiness of my voice. I'm not even kidding. That's how we used to get around it. But like, naturally, it faded away the more I got, like a more opportunity I had to talk. So for example, with my volunteer group, yeah, I was presenting in front of like hundreds of middle school kids. Even more so, I was presenting in front of, like, a large um, gala banquet in front of, like, old people. Like, all these people that, like, have degrees and, like, own their own places and stuff. Like, the table I sat with at that gala, right, with my, um, with the person who started that group with me, Danny, right? We sat next to the owner of the, um, I think it was, like, a shop, right? The shop right in Doralstown, I think, something like that. I don't know. He owned some store in Doyle, some grocery place in Doyle Sound. That guy. Then there was some guy that owned like a expensive, expensive clothing store in Doyle Sound as well, as well as representative uh, Brian Fitzpatrick. He sat at that table. Mm -hmm. Like it was all like these people with like stacks. Yeah. And like just being there, I was like, 
Dang. And again, I will witness like networking firsthand. Yeah, then you get to speak with them? Yeah, I talk to them. They give me some really good advice. But that's besides the point. The point I'm trying to make is, you know, the more you practice, the better you get at speaking. Yeah, 100%. Uh, I feel like that limits the nervousness a lot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in high school, I remember I used to, I got kind of, I got really comfortable uh, speaking. Right. And then I feel like during my last year of high school, we stopped getting the opportunities to talk in front of the class and do PowerPoints. And then in my first year of high school, I remember speaking and I, and then I felt like that, that nervousness again yeah. that I haven't, hadn't felt in a while. And I was like, wow, I'm really back at this stage again. <laughs> so it just shows you, you either use it or you lose it. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I think it's like, you know how people say like, once you learn, like, let's say a foreign language, you have to continue to use that foreign language yeah. or else you forget it. I feel like that's the same with yeah, public that's speaking. Good, that's a good example. So, I mean, and what I usually have felt from like the last three interviews per se, mm -hmm. It's the nervousness right before the interview that is the worst. Like, I've never felt a more uncomfortable feeling than either losing my wallet yeah. <laughs> or waiting for an interview. So, in my opinion, when it comes to feeling nervous or being stressed out over a situation, one thing that I found worse for me is... Well, for me, I think working out daily, whether it be running or lifting weights, is really helpful because I think when you're constantly putting your body in a stage of stage of kind of stress, mm -hmm. when you when you actually in a moment in life where you are stressed, your body kind of knows how to deal with it. Right, that. right. Mm -hmm. That's that's one thing that worked for me. You know, the breathing tactic really works. The like, breathing? like breathe in, breathe out. Like clear, try to clear your mind. Think about something else. Gets my mind focused. You know, get over the nervousness. And, like, honestly, being prepared. Yeah. When you are prepared for, like, let's say an interview or presentation, if you go through your notes and you know exactly what you're going to say, your nervousness is going to be, you know, very limited. Because, for me, I think about the worst situation possible, right? If you think about the worst situation possible, a couple days in advance, you prepare for it. Mm -hmm. So, like, for example, for this interview, I won't go too much into the actual company. but you know, I researched them, figured out what their values are, figure out, you know, how many employees does the company have, you know, where do, where does this company operate from and have a general consensus of, okay, what are they going to ask me? What values do they have that I can talk about? So I'm not, you know, I'm not panicking when they ask me like, so what do you know about this company? Yeah, exactly. Uh, preparation is definitely a big part, I think, in I think even just for your own self, obviously it's impressive for the employer or whoever yeah. you're speaking in front of, but for your own self, like as you're speaking and you just know that you're doing a good job, exactly. then that's good for your own moral, exactly. morale. And sometimes I feel like I get over the nervousness by thinking about, okay, what am I going to say? So yeah. this is this. So memorizing exactly like what I'm going to say and I completely forget about it. I I was nervous. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of like what I've done to, you know, get over that nervousness. And of course, practice, 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 practice.